So you deleted social media and now you're like, I'm bored. What am I supposed to do with my life? Well, if you watch this video, I will give you some tips on what I've been doing since I've been taking my social media detox. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the post notification bell, which is on the side of the subscribe button. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm dying to know, have you guys ever taken a social media like break or detox yourself from social media? Do you feel like you should? And what are some of the things that you do to keep yourself busy during um, the time when you're taking a break from social media? I realized that I had a problem. I, Rakita, was addicted to social media. And I knew that because soon as I opened my eyes, I'm like, thank you, Lord, where's my phone? You know, and I'm looking to check comments. I'm constantly on, YouTube like throughout the day like all day long I'm constantly on YouTube and stuff like that which is sometimes it's work related other times if we're gonna be real it's not work related you know or just being on Instagram or Facebook you know and just seeing what everybody else is doing and just you know kind of sometimes social media you can lose touch with reality you know what I mean and what I mean by that is you start to do things just for social media like you take trips just for social media to show like how nice and the aesthetics and things like that you will post your meals you know just for social media and make sure that the plating is right because you don't want nobody talking about your food or nothing like that or like even nowadays people at the table kids at the table i know my kids I'm guilty of it. My kids carry their phone to the table. We don't really talk to each other. Everybody's on their phone. They're doing their own thing, uh, you know, to keep busy and stuff like that. But I feel like uh, for me, I tend to be on social media a lot when I am bored or when I'm truly going through some things. And that can be not good because when you are going through things, you need to face those things head on. You need to work on the things that are going on on the inside. So if you're constantly like putting it off, so you know, like I'll watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos or I'll try to watch funny movies and things like that. I'll watch, get on Netflix and stuff like that. Constantly being on my phone to escape the reality of what's happening right at the moment. When you actually need to live in that, you need to look at what is this teaching me? What do I need to learn from this? This. how can I grow from this situation so with that um, me being off of social media it has refocused me I've been able to get more organized so even just like jotting things down on your your calendar organizing your room organizing your workspace organizing you know your house whatever it is that you need to organize so that you can um, be able to you know, function better. I feel like I function way better when everything is neat and organized and in place and stuff like that. So I feel like when you take a step step back off of social media and you start to get bored, organize, start to organize your life, put things in perspective, you know, um, find books that you can read that will, um, stimulate your mind, you know, books on, um, wealth and, you know, or me personally, I love the Bible. Um, so I have been able to get into my word a lot more and just to see what God is saying to me in this time and to spend more quality time with God um, as well as I'm still working on it. It's, it's a work in progress. I'm not like 100%. I'm not going to say that I just like I'm in my word all day and I'm on my knees praying all day. You know, it's a work in progress. But I feel like since I've gotten off of social media, I've been able to kind of clear my head and tap back into reality. I've been able to focus on myself, you know, the things that I want to work in with inside myself. So while you're off of social media, look at your strengths and your weaknesses. Look at the things like if you struggle with discipline and or consistency, you know, maybe going to the gym, that will keep you from getting on social media, going to, you know, work out and stuff like that. Finding 
new meals to cook in your home recipes that you can cook you know what i'm saying or to spend time with the kids looking up different treats that you guys can make together to spend quality time with your family you know to tap back into reality maybe going outside and going for walks you know what i'm saying to get some fresh air and like i know for me when i'm outside and i go for walks it's like I have a clear head. I can think better. I love praying when, when I'm walking outside. It's just, it just feels better than being cooped up. You know what I mean? Also setting new goals. A lot of times we'll start, we'll have goals that we set at the beginning of the year. But I feel like it, every quarter, every three months or every six months, you should be switching some things up, taking some things out and adding some new things in. You know, because there's, it should be forever we should be forever growing and forever wanting to accomplish things. So setting aside some time to really like refocus and think about all the things that you want. Because there's a lot of things that I have accomplished. But there are new things that I realize that I want to work on and work towards. So focusing more on your goals. You know what I mean? Spending more quality time with your children. Um, communicating. Getting to know them. Or you know even just with your friends or your family. Even if you don't have like... Um, children but you may have got out of touch with re with communicating with your friends and things like that you know because you're so used to like if your friends with your friends on social media then you guys comment back and forth and you feel like that's still you know like you guys are still connected but it's a total different thing when you actually step aside off of social media and say i'm gonna decide to take the time to you know like go out to dinner with my friend or go to a movies or just have that um you know building up that relationship building up your relationship with your significant other you know what i'm saying there's so many different things that you can do i'm um, try decluttering you know what i mean i was able to clean out my whole closet and things like that you know what i'm saying throw some things out that i've been keeping and putting off like oh i'm gonna throw some of this stuff i'm gonna get rid of these clothes like i'm gonna take this out i'm gonna do this i'm gonna like redecorate you can redecorate your room redecorate your living room you know shift some things around like put some focus back into real reality you know like your real life instead of like social media life you know so when you find yourself getting bored, you know, open up a book or, you know, call a friend and, you know, have a conversation with them. Declutter your house, organize, set new goals, um, do arts and crafts with your children, do things that's going to make you happy. Get a gym membership or even if it's not, if you can't afford a gym membership, work out at home. You know, I know during this quarantine, girl. I gained so much weight, it is ridiculous. I'm like, where, like, what is going on? Like, my jeans, like, Fashion Nova jeans, the zipper is breaking, like, my stomach is hanging over. When you feel good and you start to, you know, focus on yourself, do some self-love, some self-care, some self-examination, focus on your mental health, you know, like, where am I at? You know what I mean? And and really taking the time to see where you're at at that point. And also when you're detoxing, you need a game plan because what happens is we take these social media breaks. It could be a week, a month, two weeks, uh, you know, however long we take. And then we hop on social media and we're doing good, you know, and then next thing you know, we're back in the whole routine. So you need to have a game plan of how you're going to limit your time on social media and what, what you choose to focus more on. I know since I really have been off of social media, I've been able to focus on my dream, you know, my dreams, my business, which is YouTube and coming up with different content and things like that. Also, like for my birthday, I found myself thinking like, Oh my God, what am I going to wear? How am I going to do my hair? This, that, and the third. Which, of course, you should look good for your birthday. That's not what I'm saying. But when you're thinking like, okay, last year I wore this and I took pictures in this. Now I got to figure out what kind of pictures I'm going to take. I want some balloons. I want a, a photo shoot. Da, 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 like so on and so forth. When you're thinking like that, like when you should really be thinking like, this is another year of life that God has granted me. Even just from making it from January all the way to December, next month, it will be next year. Like just that quick, a whole year goes by so fast, you know? So you don't want to waste your time on things that really don't matter. Because 
we only have a limited time amount of time down here we only get one shot at life and we don't want to waste it away you know on things that don't matter at the end of the day you know what i'm saying because when your life is over with you want you don't want to have any regrets or feeling like man i should have did this i could have did this i wish i would have spent more time doing this or that you know what i'm saying so for me it's just helping me to put my mind back into perspective and just really focusing solely on my household on my children on my goals on my businesses things that i really truly am passionate about things that i care about family you know um my walk with god and just my relationship with god and getting that thing strengthened um i feel like it's very very important to me so i just think that if you're going to take a social media detox you need to have a game plan before you just hop back on social media because you'll find yourself going back in the same cycle and doing the same things over and over again and you want to kind of enjoy the moment you know what i mean um for me i want to be able to just really be more in tune with reality versus just social media world or feeling like oh i gotta post this or i gotta post that or i did my makeup i look cute i want to post the picture you know what i mean like just really just doing things in life without needing social media you know um needing to post on social media and i really have been enjoying myself so i don't know comment down below some things that you guys have done um, once you got off social media or have you guys been thinking about taking a social media break? Do you guys feel like, like, what do you comment down below? What you guys feel about social media and detoxing and, and tips that can help somebody else or even me, I'm looking, if you know, there's some things that we can, that I can do, you know, while I'm off of social media, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I thank you guys for watching my video. Please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more videos until next time. Peace.